Don't make the same mistakes as I do when I fantasize about moving somewhere or visiting a place. I go down a rabbit hole of hours of information when I should have started with this video right here, cost of living. Stick with me as we're gonna talk about some unexpected costs as well as some perks to living in Wenatchee. Before we get into the actual cost of living, this whole video is really about how comfortable it is to live in the Wenatchee area. And to talk about that, we need to talk about wages. So minimum wage in Washington state is really one of the higher minimum wages um, from across the country. And the minimum wage right now is $16.25 an hour. And there isn't any of those weird laws like if you make tips, that's part of your hourly rate. It is flat, that is what you get for you for every hour that you work. Um, a lot of people in the Wenatchee area that um, have high paying jobs are typically remote workers. And a lot of these companies that offer these remote positions will actually pay you on a tier depending on which state you live in. So you may see a pay increase by, watch, uh, by moving to Washington state. All right, so let's take a look at this graph from bestplaces.com to really get a feel of how Wenatchee stacks up compared to the rest of the nation. And how this ranking works is 100 is average. That is the nation's average. Anything above that you're gonna find is a little bit more expensive and anything below is going to be a little bit cheaper than the national average. So let's take a look and we'll break these categories down and tell you what it actually means. The Wenatchee area is ranking at 107.6, which is just slightly over the United States average. Washington as a whole is 121.9. Now, if you go to one of the metropolitan areas on the West Coast, you're gonna see that much higher. I'm talking about in Seattle or Portland or San Francisco. So <clears throat> when you compare Wenatchee to the rest of the country, it really feels like it's a affordable place to live in the Pacific Northwest. Next on the list is groceries, and they're rating groceries slightly higher in Wenatchee and slightly higher in Washington State. But when we take a look at this other chart, you can see that Washington State is ranked as the ninth highest cost in groceries. I'm feeling that we spend a lot of money on groceries. I know affordability on groceries is going up everywhere, but when I travel, when I go to say Idaho, I feel like I'm paying a lot less. I wanna remind you too that Washington State has a tax um, on anything that you purchase, and but that does not include food. So if you're buying clothing or a car, you're gonna spend anywhere between eight and 10% on top of that actual cost. But then when you talk about going out to eat, uh, Wenatchee feels affordable to me for the Pacific Northwest. So take a look at this. This is a local menu from a restaurant here in town. And as you can see, you can still get a burger for about $16. Now take a look at this menu. This is a popular restaurant in the Seattle area. An average burger cost is about $22. Um, in the King County area, in the Seattle met metro area, they're also going to put on a mandatory tip um, on top of that $22. So uh, eating out in Wenatchee is a lot more affordable than what you're gonna find on that I-5 corridor. Okay, so let's talk about the home cost. Now, if this home cost was pulled out of the equation, living in Wenatchee would look really good. But um, home affordability across the country has really risen. And the national average right now is over $380,000 for a home. Now, if you go into the Seattle market, the average over there is about $800,000. And uh, here in the Wenatchee area, we are hovering right around $475,000 for a home. Take a look at this, and this is what your money can buy in the Wenatchee area for real estate. A 
small hidden cost that can come up come with home ownership in the area is HOA fees. Now we don't have any like massive developments like Texas does with water parks or anything like that, but there are a lot of HOAs in the area. And um, some of these fees can be as low as $20 a month, going up to several hundred dollars a month, just really depending on what kind of amenities um, your development is offering, whether that's boat launches or clubhouses, um, road maintenance that's not done by the county. Asking about those HOA fees is a really good idea. Luckily, home maintenance doesn't seem like it's that much in the area, and that really has to do with our climate. It's very tempered. Um, we don't have any extreme weather. We get some heat, so keeping up on your painting, um, your siding, your roof is gonna be really important, but we don't have the salt water that the West Coast has. Uh, we don't get any massive wind storms. Uh, so really, the home maintenance is pretty average to on the low side. One thing that can really be a shock and a kicker is homeowners insurance. I know it's going up everywhere across the nation, but um, Central Washington, we're known to have fires. We'll talk about that in another video, but um, homeowner insurance policies, um, there's a lot of areas that are being dropped, and if it's not being dropped, it's getting raised significantly. And this has a lot to do with uh, replacement costs, building materials, um, insurance companies just aren't able to keep up with the claims. So it's a really good idea to um, get with an insurance agent if you're thinking about purchasing a home, asking them if they can even insure the home and if they can, what that annual um, fee is going to be. Like homeowners insurance, property taxes is something we just can't avoid. Um, Washington State, the Wenatchee area, we are really kind of in the middle for the national average. So if you're coming from a state like Texas or Illinois, this is gonna feel really low and great to you. But if you're coming from somewhere like Idaho or Mississippi, it might be a bit of a shock. All right, let's bust into utilities. Bestplacesrate.com uh, is telling us that our utility in this area is much lower. And I can see that in some aspects. Um, water, if you're paying for water and sewer over in the Seattle area, you're averaging about $250 a month. Um, here in the Wenatchee area, you have a base rate of $168 a month, and then you're going to be pay, um, charged a little over three cents per cubic foot. Um, I, your, your utilities is going to be for water and sewer is going to be under $200 a month in the area. All right, this is the big benefit, and you've probably heard me talk about it in other videos, but it is power. It is so cheap in the area, and this is why there's data centers going up everywhere. Um, we are known to have the cheapest power in the nation. So how does that compare? The nation's average um, charge per kilowatt is a, over 16 cents. In the Seattle area, you're hovering around 10 cents per kilowatt. In the Wenatchee area, you were at two cents per kilowatt. So what does that mean? Um, I live in a 1500 square foot home built in the 90s. My uh, power bill is anywhere from 30 to $70 a month. It is a huge savings and we stay nice and toasty in the winter and nice and chilly with that AC in the summertime. Next on our list is transportation, and this score kind of shocks me because it is rating us much lower in um, transportation cost. Although when we look at this graph, our gas is so much more expensive. So the nation's um, average gas price right now is about $3.15 a gallon. Uh, in the Seattle area, they're paying closer to $3.90. In the Wenatchee area, Central Washington, we're at about $3.50. I always make sure I gas up before I go on a road trip. My guess is the reason that um, they have our transportation so low underneath the national average is because we don't have to drive very far. Everything is so condensed. Everything is right here um, that we're just not consuming a lot of gas. Okay, let's talk about the miscellaneous stuff because really that's the fun stuff and that's lifestyle. 
So I talk about hockey a lot. Let's talk about what it costs to go to these games. You can get tickets as low as $17 and they go all the way up to $28 for glass seats. Uh, it's a really fun thing to do in the winter time. If you are looking into doing something with the performing arts or a gala in town, a networking event, um, those are typically anywhere between $15 and $75. Uh, if you're gonna spend the weekend up at the slopes, um, weekend full day tickets are $140, not cheap, but there's some tricks on how to get that a little bit lower. If you purchase your ticket online, they're going to give you a $20 discount. And if you ride Ski Link, they're gonna give you another $20 discount. So you can get a full day lift ticket for $99. If you enjoy going to the gym, um, we've got multiple gyms in the area. We have everything from a Planet Fitness all the way up to clubs. And uh, Planet Fis Fitness is about $10 a month and some of those premium racket clubs. You're looking at $100 a person. Of course, if you have family plans or couple plans, uh, you're gonna get a little bit of a discount on that. Okay, what does it cost to go golfing? So to score a tee time, you are gonna be paying mm, about $50 on the low end, um, 18 holes on a weekend, up to about $80 on some of our nicer greens. If you travel an hour, hour and a half to some of the premium courses, such as Gamble Sands, uh, a weekend rate in um, the summertime is gonna cost you about $245. Washington State, passes, passes, passes. You need so many passes to go to parks, um, to go to the National Forest, and I'm gonna break that down for you. So there is a Discover Pass, and that is good for anything that is a Washington State Park that Washington State manages. An annual pass for that is $30. If you wanna go anywhere into the National Forest, that is another pass, an annual Northwest Forest Service Pass, that is $30. But I recommend if you're going to do any sort of traveling or if you're going to go to the national parks such as Mount Rainier, the North Cascades, or even travel across the nation to some of the beautiful parks in Utah, um, go to the Grand Canyon, I recommend getting the America the Beautiful Pass. It is $80, it's an annual pass, and it gets you into every national mo monument across the country. But here's the really nice thing about living in Chelan and Douglas County. All of the parks uh, along the Columbia River, there's some beautiful um, state parks camping with boat launches. They give you a free pass, so you don't have to pay for passes for any of that stuff. Really, living here, um, I get the National Forest Service pass and that free pass, and that's all I do for passes for the year. If there's anything else that you want to know about the cost of living, in Wenatchee, make sure to get a hold of us. Our contact information is in the description below. Have a wonderful day and thanks for tuning in.